for this project I will be using Simple Dino because for what I need it's more than enough and here's the interface so you will need to download the software you will get this and you unzip it here you have Simple Dino this is the software double click and it shows this it may show you the gauges and the graph the first time but if, if it doesn't you go to load and then you go to my PC C drive and then you go to simple dyno and you click default view and you click open and there you have it so we are building a inertia dyno using a rotor from a three phase induction motor that I got from the scrap torque in newton meters equals to the moment of inertia in kilograms per square meter times the angular acceleration which is radians per second square and power is in watts its torque in newton meters times the angular speed in radians per second we only have the moment of inertia and we still need the angular acceleration and the angular speed. So with the speed sensor we can get the angular speed and also the angular acceleration because the angular acceleration is the variation of the angular speed through time. So we got this one covered, this one and this one. So we can get the torque and the power. In our case, I'm going to approximate the situation to a solid roller and the moment of inertia of a solid roller equals to one half times the mass in kilograms times the radius squared in meters. I found on the brand catalog the moment of inertia of my particular model that I got and it's 0 0.13 kilograms per square meter and then if we put the roller on a scale and measure the weight we, we can determine the radius to put in the program so 0 0.13 equals one half the mass times the radius squared. If we know the mass, which is 54.6 kilos, then the radius is the root square of 2 times 0 0.13 divided by 54.6, which is about 0 0.07 meters and if we know the radius which is 92.5 millimeters then we can know the mass and will be 2 times 0 0.13 divided by 92.5 we need to convert this to meters so thousand goes here and then square and we have a mass of 30,387 grams so now we are ready to go and start adding these values to the program so now we have two options we can go with this one or this one to add our values to the software so I'm going to try both of the options to show you that the software 
gives the same moment of inertia. So we are going to go to the dyno button and we are going to try the first option. So we are going to leave these parameters and we are going to focus on only these three because these three parameters are enough to calculate the target, the actual moment of, of inertia, which is this one, 0.13. So if we go to roller diameter, which is 140 millimeters, roller wall thickness, if it's a solid cylinder, then it's half of the diameter, so 70 millimeters. It roller wall thickness will be half of the roller diameter. Here's the note. If you are using a solid roller, this value should be half of the enter value of roller diameter. And then the roller mass, which is 54 and 600 grams, we have an actual dyno moment of inertia of 0.134 kilograms per square meter, a bit more than the, the value I looked for, but this is due to rounding error, so it's fine. And if we try the other option, which the roller diameter is 185 millimeters, more or less, because I measured it with a tape measure, then the roller wall thickness will be half of the diameter, which is 92.5. And then the roller mass is 30,387 grams. And we hit enter, and we have an actual moment of inertia of 0 0.13 kilograms per square meter, and that's the value we look for. So this is the final version and it's the same as a whole sensor tester. You can search online and you will find it. We have the positive and negative coming from the USB that we will connect to the computer. And then the negative is common with the hole and the USB and the and at the end of the 1K resistor, we are going to connect to the positive of a regular 3.5 millimeter jack. So I connected this to the microphone input of the computer and I started shaking a, a magnet near the earbuds and I got around 3 millivolts. So having that, I arranged a simple voltage divider with a 100k resistor and then I calculated the other value and it's 100 ohms. But I wanted to have some adjustment for the resolution so I wanted to swap the resistor with a potentiometer and this is what looks like. This is the first version which failed and didn't work. The LED lit up and the whole sensor worked, but I didn't got the output. Same with this one. And this is the third version that worked just using this schematic. So once I had this, I decided to learn how to design a PCB and I went for it. So this is the PCB that I got and here it is fully assembled. This simple, here we connect the output that will go connect it into the microphone input of the computer and here are the 5 volts from the USB. So it will look like that. So with this option the output signal is around 3 volts. I wasn't really sure to plug it in directly to the laptop so I got this. 
This cost me seven bucks and is a USB sound card. So I directly plug it in and the PC automatically recognizes it. And now we need to connect this to the microphone input. This is a 3D printed disc with an embedded magnet and if we approach it to the sensor I don't know if it can be seen or not Yes And now if we start detecting and go here You have some spikes, so it's counting, so it's detecting the signal. So here it is, the 3D printed disc with the magnet attached to the a fan motor and now I'm reading with more than 1400 RPMs. So now let's see if the sensor reads correctly. You can see the screen. Yes, the computer is reading. And this thing rotates now really good. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I know it's a bit of a boring video, but these are the basics to make our Rhino functional. And I'm still waiting for a BFD to do some testing with three phase motors because I don't have three phase in my shop and show some testing in the next episode of this project because in the next episode I will show you how I built the whole frame and dropped the roller and did some tests so I will see you guys in the next video